Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to talk about the Huawei Mate 10, Mate 10 Pro. We are going to compare these two devices and find out which device is better for you. So let's start it. The very first reason is going to be the design of the device. As you can see Huawei Mate 10 is taller, thinner and lighter compared to Huawei Mate 10 because of its 18 is to 9 aspect ratio screen. And Huawei Mate 10 comes with 16 is to 9 aspect ratio and the device is a bit thicker compared to Huawei Mate 10 Pro and also slightly heavier as well. So depending on your choice whether you would like to go with a wider screen or narrower screen you can select any of these two devices. The reason number second is the screen. As I've already said Huawei Mate 10 Pro comes with 18 is to 9 aspect ratio and due to this the screen is taller compared to Huawei Mate 10. Also it comes with OLED display but the screen resolution is just 1080p Full HD and because of that the PPI is lower compared to Huawei Mate 10. On Huawei Mate 10 Pro the navigation keys are on screen and unfortunately they cannot be hidden. Only few supported applications can use the full screen mode where you can hide the navigation keys but for general users on screen navigation keys will always be there and because of that you will get less overall space on the screen to use. And talking about the Huawei Mate 10 because of its 16 is to 9 aspect ratio the screen is wider and even though it is slightly smaller 5.9 inch screen compared to 6 inch screen of Huawei Mate 10 Pro the overall surface area of a screen is more than the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. Also it comes with higher resolution, it comes with WQHD resolution so the PPI is more compared to Huawei Mate 10 Pro and also the navigation keys can be hidden. So if you use the off screen navigation keys using the fingerprint sensor then you will get the whole screen for your usage and this is one of the highlighted point of Huawei Mate 10's screen but talking about the display quality it uses IPS LCD screen compared to OLED that we have found on Mate 10 Pro. So in terms of a screen Huawei Mate 10 Pro comes with OLED screen, Mate 10 comes with LCD, Mate 10 got more resolution, more surface area on the screen and wider screen and Mate 10 Pro got low resolution but taller screen. So depending on your requirement whether you would like to have a WQHD screen or OLED or LCD you can decide which one you want out of these two smartphones. Another difference between these two smartphones is the placement of fingerprint scanner and its feature. As you can see on Huawei Mate 10 the fingerprint scanner is placed on the front and this is a very convenient placement for many users because if the device is on the table or somewhere you can just use your thumb or finger to activate the screen and see the notification or whatever on the device. In the case of Mate 10 Pro you will have to hold the device in hand and then only you can use the fingerprint scanner in the back. So once again it depends on your personal preference but talking about the feature on Huawei Mate 10 Pro fingerprint scanner performs multiple tasks. For example you can capture an image using the fingerprint scanner. If you go to the gallery you can even browse the images using the fingerprint scanner. So you don't have to use your finger on the screen. You can even answer the call, stop the alarm and access the notification bar like this using the fingerprint scanner. So fingerprint scanner on Huawei Mate 10 Pro is multifunctional but if you're talking about the fingerprint scanner or Mate 10 Pro you can just unlock the device or lock the application. The another use of fingerprint scanner or Huawei Mate 10 is as navigation keys. As I have said just few minutes back that you can use the fingerprint scanner as the navigation keys and you can remove the on-screen navigation key to increase the overall surface area. So based on your convenience whether you would like to have a fingerprint scanner on the front or back or just to lock unlock the device or to perform multiple tasks like we have seen on Mate 10 Pro you can buy any of these two smartphones. One very important feature that is available on Huawei Mate 10 is the inclusion of 3.5 mm audio jack that is not available on Mate 10 Pro and it comes with USB type C headphone and to use a 3.5 mm headphone you will have to use the adapter that comes in the retail box of Huawei Mate 10 Pro. So 
this is a factor that you can consider whether you would like to go with 3.5 mm audio jack or you are okay with usb type c headset or you would like to use the usb type c to 3.5 mm adapter another major difference between huawei mate 10 pro and huawei mate 10 is that huawei mate 10 pro is water resistance it comes with ip67 certification so basically it is waterproof under one meter of water for like 30 minutes and also it is dust resistant but this feature is not available on huawei mate 10 so if you are looking for a water resistance device then you must go with the huawei mate 10 pro instead of huawei mate 10. talking about the hardware both of these devices are pretty much same the only difference is that one of the variant of Huawei Mate 10 Pro, it comes with 6 GB of RAM and 128 GB internal storage while Huawei Mate 10 is available only with 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB internal storage. Another major difference is that Huawei Mate 10 got a micro SD card slot but you will have to use it on the expense of secondary SIM. And the major drawback of Huawei Mate 10 Pro is that there is no micro SD card slot provided in this so if you got the dual SIM version of Huawei Mate 10 Pro then you will use dual SIMs and there is no micro SD card slot but if you got Huawei Mate 10 then you can use one SIM card along with one micro SD card or two SIM card at a time so depending on your requirement you can select any of these whether you would like to go with 6GB RAM variant of the device whether you need a micro SD card slot or you need two dedicated SIM card slot it's totally up to you and based on that you can decide which device you would like to buy the Mate 10 or the Mate 10 Pro and as the name suggests Huawei Mate 10 Pro is slightly expensive compared to Huawei Mate 10 so this can be a factor as well to decide which device you would like to buy depending on your budget and the last but not so important reason is the color options available for these two devices the black and champagne gold color is available only in Huawei Mate 10 and the midnight blue and titanium gray color is available only in Huawei Mate 10 Pro. So if you are looking for a device with champagne gold color then you must go with Huawei Mate 10 and if you are looking for midnight blue or titanium gray then you need to go with Huawei Mate 10 Pro. So these are the major differences between Huawei Mate 10 and Huawei Mate 10 Pro that Huawei Mate 10 got more screen area more resolution but it comes with LCD screen you can hide the navigation keys there is a 3.5 mm audio jack provided the price is less it comes with expandable memory but you will have to use only one sim card for that and it is not water resistant like the Mate 10 Pro and the champagne gold and black color is available only in Huawei Mate 10. Talking about the Huawei Mate 10 Pro it comes with OLED screen but lower resolution compared to Huawei Mate 10 there is ip67 water resistance the display is oled and it comes with 18 is to 9 aspect ratio there is more ram and internal storage variant available for mate 10 pro but there is no micro sd card slot provided the device is longer slimmer and lightweight compared to huawei mate 10 and the midnight blue and titanium gray color is available only in mate 10 pro so these are the major differences between huawei mate 10 and mate 10 pro depending on that you can buy any of these two devices so feel free to let us know in the comment section that which device you would like to go with that's all for now friends thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos tips and tricks and hands on videos like this i'll see you guys next time in another video have a nice day